Hi, my name is Wendell. I'm a certified hand therapist at the Orthopedic Institute of Westington, Kentucky. Today, I'm going to show you how we make a finger splint. Um, you might make this a splint for somebody with a fracture or a boutonniere deformity, or there's just a lot of different things that it could be made for. I heat the plastic up in this hydroxylator. This is a low temperature thermoplastic called Orfit Light. It is perforated and it turns clear when it's warm, so then you know it's warm enough. The patient is going to hold her hand with her, her palm up like this. The material is now clear, so I'll take it out and I'll lay it over her finger. And then it takes about two to three minutes to harden. And when it's done, it'll be a nice custom fitted splint that actually has a lot of rigidity and can provide a lot of protection for a fracture or some other, what may be a ligamentous injury. You can see as it cools, it turns back to the beige hand color that it was. I can slide it off now. Remove the sharp edges. And I smooth up the ends so it'll be more, more comfortable for the patient. So now the splint is completed. It easily slides on and on off and uh, is rigid. Provides quite a bit of a protection for an injured finger. And that's our finger cylinder splint.